I thought I'd take a moment and share a cool little thing for SharePoint Online with you. Now, if you've ever watched my videos, you'd know that I'm a big fan of PowerPoint, of course. So of course, I'm going to go straight back into PowerPoint. But um, what I do want to show you today is this little web part that I've added here on my um, landing page. And that, of course, is a GIF, right? So let me show you how I created it. And then maybe it can inspire you to do some other cool things. So let's go to PowerPoint. Now, what I did in PowerPoint, because I didn't want it to be a full size GIF, because if you use gifmaker.me or something, it's going to use like a slide size nearly. So in PowerPoint, um, I went and I changed um, under design. If you go to custom slide size, I went and changed it to 30 centimeters by five, uh, 25 actually by five. Sorry. So that's a one by five um, to get a narrower type of image. And I then just went and changed the colors and I added some text to it. And um just uh, kudos to Microsoft. I definitely stole some color inspiration from your new work lab um, site. And um, you must check these cool little uh, images and shapes and things. So I stole some colors from there. I really, really liked it. So go check out the site as well. I'll, um, I'll throw the URL for you in um, the video as well so that you know where it is. So what I then did is um, pick some colors from there. I added some cool text, you know, maybe some inspirational text or phrases, or it could even be your company's values or, I don't know, objectives or something, something cool for your site. And then what I did is I then saved it straight from PowerPoint as a GIF. So if I go File, Save As, and I can change the type to GIF. So what you have to remember is that for some odd reason, I don't know, it doesn't allow me to do this straight back into OneDrive. So um, the GIF file I just saved to my desktop for now, and then obviously afterwards I'll just move it back to OneDrive. I then saved it as a GIF, which means I now have a GIF image that I can insert on SharePoint. So in SharePoint, I then went and inserted a image web part. So if I edit this page, you'll see that that's actually an image web part. So all I did is I said, and I um, add image, and I then said, where am I going to get that? And then I just uploaded it from my desktop. Okay, and then it's a GIF on your page. So um, let's take a look at that again. When we go back to PowerPoint, there's just some settings that you might have to change. So in PowerPoint, I changed the slides to auto transition um, between slides, which I suspect at this moment, I haven't tested it without it, is what causes the GIF um, to move and to set it to be faster or slower. So if I go to transitions, I haven't got a transition, but each of the slides I set to auto uh, move forward, and I think that's three seconds. So that means that when you play it, it actually moves to the next slide um, every three seconds, and then when you save it as a GIF, it saves it with that um, timing. I suspect, <laughs> but it worked. So I do hope that that um, could uh, help you have a bit of fun and add some cool things to your SharePoint site. Enjoy.